morning vlog. Happy Halloween. It is October 31st, 2019. It is like 9 a.m. and I just woke up, did a little work, took a shower, and now I am about to take these little doggos out. Um, I am pumped for it to be Halloween. I'll show you later. I have like a plethora of candies to, to choose from. And Hannah's coming over today. I have to run some errands, catch up on some schoolwork. That's about it. But whoa, it's Halloween. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you some of my neighborhood's Halloween decorations just because like we're being festive today. Um, oh shoot, I need to wear my Halloween shirt. But regardless, you know what this means. Starting tomorrow, it's acceptable for people to put up like holiday Christmas decorations. Heck yeah, brother, that means give it a few weeks closer to Thanksgiving. Yeah, definitely people will have their freaking holiday lights up. I'm pumped, dude. Here we have a nice spider web with a spider and some cool pumpkins. That's pretty nice. And uh, we got some spooky little spider webs. That's cool. Right, and then here at my house, we just have a little spooky spider and some little pumpkins. I, um, oops, sorry. I am thinking about picking up another spooky spider because I want it to be obvious that I want the kids to come to my house. Guys, you don't understand. I am pumped for it to be Halloween. Not, I, I don't care really that it's Halloween, but I'm just pumped for kids to trick or treat at my house. I've never been like the one handing out candy at my own house because the first time Nick and I, like, well, the first time I had my own place was with Nick last year. Come on, Tank. And um, no kids came because we lived like, kind of in like, off of a side street in the back, kind of like an alley in San Diego, so. There was no kids in our apartment building. It was super small, so. But people say, apparently, it's pretty big over here, so I'm gonna do a candy count, see what I need. But I need to wash my car today, and housing is coming, or maintenance people are coming at between, between 10 and 12 to fix this guy, because he is, uh, He's broken, so I've moved a lamp, a whole freaking lamp, to my kitchen. We'll fix that today. Okay, maybe I went a little bit overboard and I could have just bought one big bag instead of a medium bag and a lot of little bags, but let me show you what I have for Halloween for these chitlins. Um, I just have these three little things that aren't candy because they're doing this thing around my neighborhood. I don't know if it's everywhere where it's like um, for kids that have food allergies or I don't know, their parents don't want them to eat candy, whatever it is. They're doing this thing where you can like put your name on a list to include it as like having something that the kids can come, you know, trick or treat for, but that's not candy. So I thought, oh my God, it's so cute. And I work at a daycare, so you know, if I don't give any of this out, even the candy, I can bring it to them. Then I got, Starburst fun size. Everyone loves a good Starburst. I tried to get a mix of chewy and chocolatey. Mm. And then I got Sour Patch Kids. Tricksters. Looks like one might taste like another one. Oh, I guess. Wow, fun. Okay, Sour Patch Kids. Little bag of Kit Kats. This is like a lot of candy. I feel like I probably don't need any more. They have little faces. I don't know if that's supposed to be Iron Man or what. Reese's. Of course, gotta get the Reese's. York, there's not that many in this one, but they're pumpkin shaped. And it was like for these little bags, it was like buy three, get them for like nine bucks. And I was like, heck yeah, Skittles, those are all my like the ones I personally was like, ooh, gotta get these. And then I just got this one because it was like on sale and it has a whole bunch. And I was like, okay, well, it has Skittles, Starburst, gum, lifesavers. So it's just like a whole bunch of little stuff. So I figure. That should be enough, but I'm gonna go to Target today and see how much they have. Like, I mean, if they have any sales or anything. And I got this little cute little bucket for $1 just to put it in so they can pick out what they want. But I'm also like, 
what house am I gonna be? Am I gonna be the one that lets them pick it out? Or am I gonna be the one that gives them just a handful of random stuff? Am I going to let them pick? I already said let them pick it out. But you know what I'm saying? There's, there's the houses that hold out the bucket and say, oh, pick one or pick two. There's the houses that say, oh, just grab what you want. And then there's the houses that just grab a bunch and put it in your bag. I don't know. I feel like I have such a selection. I should let them pick out what they want. I'm probably gonna do that because then the candy will go by quicker and there's less chance that Hannah and I are gonna sit and eat a whole bag of Reese's. But then again, ain't no one ever complained about having Halloween candy for Christmas. So that's a point. When it comes to breakfast foods, I've really gotten on a good one, like a good roll since Nick left. I have three like prime breakfast options that I alternate between through the days of the week. Um, today I have my healthy but filling option, which is some, well I have pumpkin spice oatmeal right now, it was on sale and I want to try it. It's good, I like it, but I do like the brown sugar one better. This tastes a little less sweet, a little more like spicing, like you know, spices that you put in like a pumpkin pie. It's like that. It's not pumpkin-y, but it's good. And then I put a banana and some strawberries and like um, a little, I grab a little bit of peanut butter and put it in there. I have my just healthy option, which is just a smoothie with frozen pineapple, a little bit of dragon fruit, um, a banana, some yogurt, ice, some water. That's it. And then I have a bagel, which I eat when I get up super early at like 5.30 or 5.50 to take this little kid to school. I just grab a bagel because it's like I hate my life because it's so early in the morning so I just want to give myself a nice fat bagel with some cream cheese and I have not gotten bored of that and it's been officially four weeks today we have um, just over just over seven weeks left again when I put this up that won't be true but right now it's true mm. so I'm gonna see if I can continue to eat three foods for the next seven weeks. I'll keep you updated because I'm sure it's uh, riveting information. Happy, happy Halloween, I guess. Uh, maybe I should celebrate by picking up my Christmas wreath and my uh, Christmas lights and my ornaments and my, oh, I could just screw the Halloween decorations. Let's get ready for Christmas. Okay, vlog. Do you want a Target haul? Probably not, but I'm gonna give it to you. I'm still wearing sweatpants and Nick's shirt, and it's officially like almost 12:30. Maybe it is. I don't know. First thing I got. This is a big purchase for me to buy by myself, but I think it'll be great. This little end table. Oh, okay. It's like a little end table. It's sideways, I know, but let me show you what I'm thinking. So the issue is, this is our new couch, it's super hairy, sorry. That's gross, but, oh my gosh, you're so handsome. We have this end table here, which looks, it's fine, I like it, it's for my mom. And we, over here we have nothing, so we've been using that crate thing flipped upside down, but it's like not that sturdy. So I'm thinking, maybe move that guy here, and like push the couch over, and then put the end table there, or put the end table here and just have it weirdly match this, I don't know. But I think that was cute, it was, it was um, $59, it was 60 bucks. And I was like, that's honestly kind of a good deal. Cause you know, if you buy like Ikea, yeah, Walmart, yeah. But if you're getting like a nice end table, which it looks like it's nice material, like metal and like fancy wood, I feel like you get it a hundred plus dollars other places, I don't know. So I got that. I got two, where's the other one? two types of like pre-made meat because Hannah and I like using this guy to make salad and this just looked good. It doesn't go bad for like a month, which is kind of suspicious, but I'm not questioning it. I just thought it'd be good to have. So if I don't want to cook, this is the classic Caesar salad mix we like to mix with the shredded chicken. I got one last bag of candy because like I said, if I have too much, I'll just take it to the daycare and then the kids can have it when they do something good. I don't know. It's not that, there's not that many in there, but Snickers, you know, people like Snickers. <laughs> Baby, I didn't get you a toy. Don't look at me like that. I don't know why this thing made that noise. Um, 
yeah I don't know this is the uh, five second rule uncensored game one of my um, one of my goals for when Nick was gone was to get more games for the house because we have uno but that's it and then someone gave us not someone someone on Facebook was giving away free cards against humanity so we took that but I wanted to get babe it's not a toy she thinks it's a toy now I wanted to get some other games and this sounds really fun it's like people I mean they just give you like um one's ways to hide a fart and then you have five seconds to come up with three ways to hide a fart sounds fun um one pineapple coconut water for Nick I think um I'm gonna send him one more care package before it's too late at that point because it takes a while to get to them so that's gonna go in there this as well just some regular beef jerky the big package because if you know anything about Nick he probably can eat this in like 10 minutes and then he'll be like, oh, there wasn't even that much in there. Um, just some more instant mashed potatoes. I've been eating this a lot. Like I've eaten this twice since he went underway and it's like a lot, so it's good for leftovers. It tastes so good, I'm sorry. It's probably gross, but it's so easy and so good. Two more bananas, because as you heard, I like to put them in my smoothie and in my oatmeal. Um, just a frozen pepperoni pizza, the basic one, $3. Just because there's just some days Okay, where I don't want to eat nothing. I just want to throw a pizza in the oven, eat a dang pizza, okay? Some pre-made mac and cheese. Um, like I said, it's easier to just have different options that are already half made like this. So Hannah and I can just, I keep saying Hannah and I, we eat dinner together literally every day. Every afternoon, we're pretty much hanging out, watching TV, doing work, eating pizza, hanging out with the dogs. So that looks good. And then last but not least, just some goldfish because goldfish are just dang good. The dogs like them. I like them. Hannah likes them. My mom likes them. My dad probably does not like them. My brother likes them. You know, they're good. Anyway, that's what I got at Target. Let's get on with the vlog. Okay, vlog. We're trying out this new long leash to see if she can play fetch and stay near me. So I can still have control of her. She's sitting very patiently. Okay, baby, go. She doesn't understand. She's like, um, don't I have to stay by you, mom? <laughs> I, I had to touch her leash because A, it's easier to grab, but this thing legit dyes your hands orange. It's so weird. She's so cute. Okay. She doesn't realize that she's still on a leash. <laughs> it's like she keeps like running and then like knocking herself over. Okay, hi. Can I have the ball now? Baby. Hey, okay, hand it over. Golly. She's really happy with this setup. Come here. Come here. <laughs> She's so confused. I think he will struggle Tank had a good time well. outside. Isabel's here. Hi, baby. In town? Oh my gosh, you're already barking. It's not even any trick or treaters yet. So, Hannah and I have been hanging out. She doesn't want to be on the vlog, so I'm not going to vlog her. But I was going to update you because she just went home to grab food because she made dinner for us tonight. We wrote our, got the last notes for our hub spins. We're going to send out tonight because the lady in charge is going to come here with her kids to trick or treat. And I'm going to give them to her. My mom got me a cute card and let me show you. She also got me, look at how cute these two little guys are. Love them. Love them. Love them. Um... And then we got our trick-or-treating candy right here. We have a good assortment. Love it. And yeah, so what I just showed before this clip was I got the dog set up outside. Tank is not having it already. He wants to be in with us, but I'm about to put on my trick-or-treating shirt. Oh my God, that dog. I'm gonna put her in her crate, but no one's coming yet. So I'm like, well, you can, oh God. Oh, oh. I told her, well, you can hang outside for a little bit. So that's what's up. Hopefully a lot of kids come, I'm praying. Hannah and I have devised a plan that we're gonna give out two pieces of candy at a time because everyone's like, it's so many kids. And then, God, that dog is barking so much. Love that. And then, if like no kids are coming, I'm gonna be like, please, take handfuls. I have so much candy, I don't wanna eat it all. I'm having a lot of trouble with my blinds. But that's the plan, hopefully it goes well. Okay, I've got my little Halloween shirt on. Uh, it says, where's, where are my ghouls at? <laughs> Funny, anyway, that's the best I got. And um, 
maybe I'll even put on Not one of these really little. Good. I want to do it. I want to meet her. Cute, cute. Tango is pouting because he's outside. We're watching Vampire Diaries. And we're doing homework and we're eating skittles. Yum. Okay, guys, it is officially exactly 8 p.m. And I have closed. Ugh, my nose is like so itchy. And I have closed down the house. The dogs are coming out of there. She was in her crate because she gets too spooked. I'm pretty girl. Okay, eat. Come here. Eat your dinner. Anyway, the dogs are coming out. The door is locked. I'm going upstairs, so I'm gonna walk the dogs. And then I'm going upstairs. That is it. It was fun being on the other end for the first time. But wow, living in a three-story house is <laughs> difficult because Every time a kid knocked on the door, you're constantly going up and down. But I also ate like 12 pieces of candy. Okay, that's a lie, but more like eight, which is a lot. So anyway, I'll show you guys the uh, end table that Hannah and I built, and then I'm gonna take the dogs out. Okay, so for starters, this guy was over by the dog toys and the couch. He is now, hello, under the mirror over here. We have the first little uh, end table with the dog spray bottle and all that. The couch. And then our new end table over here. It's really cute. I feel like, I don't know, I wish it stood out more, but I can't put it over there because it'll match. So it's right here. I do really like it though because you can hide stuff. It's nice quality. There's a little compartment under there. And I do just feel like it is a good, a good upgrade. So. Surprisingly, they did not take that much time to um, build. Hannah is actually really good at building that stuff, which was like really surprising because I was like, girl, I suck. But hey, props to her. So I'm about to let Tank go in. We're about to go on a little walk and I'm going to get in bed. Oh, I probably could have done without as much candy. Probably two bags less would have been perfect. I would have had a little leftover, but nothing crazy. I put the, ba the little been out we went through like one equivalent to the bucket that i had gotten and we have like a full one left so i'm hoping that like some of the teenagers come around later and just like put it in their bag because i don't want to deal with all that okay vlog we are going to sleep here i'm gonna do some work and then head to bed it is 9 2 p.m i got to there's a girl right here and then tank goes over there um i had a Pretty good Halloween. Nothing too crazy, but it was definitely very fun. Not gonna vlog tomorrow, but I'll vlog some other time this weekend or next week. So see you then.